This is the story about how becoming a mom changes you as a woman. When I look into my child's face, their first love, their embrace, I forget myself and I'm floating in space. It's dinner time again. Are you doing a last minute scramble to see what to whip up? Is your menu limited to burgers, nuggets, and hot dogs? The one night you actually try something new, do your children look at you with horror and disdain? Given up on trying to give your family something healthy and fresh? Oh, dinner is terrible. Yet yeah, dinner is so boring because every day you have to figure out something to make. Today we're talking to Catherine McCord, mother and founder of Wheelicious.com, about the challenges of putting an easy, healthy dinner on the table. As we discuss the question, how do you cook a simple, healthy dinner for your family? Ideally, you start from day one by giving them food you eat, and that is what they know, and that is what they eat. Right. When you have failed miserably <laughs> like me, <laughs> and you've just succumbed to what is easy, um, I, I, I need help. Well, long ago, I decided I am not going to be a short order cook. Like, I don't work at a diner where I'm like, who wants pancakes? Who wants bacon? Two orders of eggs over right. here. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, that is so you. I know. I'm scared for <laughs> right now. At the same time, it's like you know what's nutritionally best for your family. If you know that your child loves pasta, great. Make a pasta with a good red sauce and some good steamed veggies or, you know, whatever. Not it just is. butter and cheese. I love an Alfredo sauce. But, like, once a week, once every two weeks, you know, you want some balance. And I always feel like if kids are hungry, they will eat. What are some cooking staples to have in the house? I think that anything that you that your entire family loves that's easy for you. One of the things that I love to do is I'll make a lot of brown rice on Monday or a lot of pasta or a lot of um, steamed or grilled chicken. And then I'll turn it into different meals for the next few days. Do you actually like package it so I don't have to do that every night? So if I make a bunch of pasta, do you put it like in a container and put it in the refrigerator? I put it in one container and I just take out the portion size that I need because especially those are really economically sound foods. They're, it doesn't cost you know more than a dollar or two to make four or five right, servings. That's a great idea. And that way you're, you get home and it's not like, oh my God, I have to boil the water and time this and time that. One thing that we do every week is we go to the farmer's market. That's one thing that we do. We have always taken my son to the farmer's markets. There's always samples. Let them try like, oh, look how cool and delicious this is. And get them involved. Give them some money. Let them buy the produce and say, what do you, what do you want to go home and make something with this? Yeah. They are more proactive and have more choice in what they're eating than they feel in control. Well, if body. they pick them, they're definitely going to have to eat it. I always am a big advocate of give kids activities even while they're eating. I know my kids love the carrots. We always do that, the carrots with the ranch. He loves to, like, dip it in all kinds of sauces, like, you know, an Italian or a ranch. And you're not making it. it. These are just salad dressings, put them in some different containers, Anything and then let them just make their choices of dips. Absolutely. We always do edamame, else. too. Edamame. Kids you love yeah, edamame. Yeah, 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 and why? Do. Because it's an activity. I've got to do some work. Um, or just marry a husband who cooks and then you don't worry about it. Like, no, no, it's actually funny because I'm sitting here and she's like, well, my kids. And I'm like, yeah, your husband comes home and makes these amazing. I mean, my husband has made like one thing. Well, my husband owns a food company, so he's a foodie. I mean, Martha Stewart is the second wife. So there is no question no, my about that. Doesn't, my husband doesn't cook and then complains that I don't give the kids enough variety. So. <laughs> and that's part of it. Easy, fast, and fresh. It has to be quick, financially sound, and it has to be good for our bodies. My kids are eating one I'm eating tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Mama has the last word. The last one. <laughs> I can hear Cooper already. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cut four of these in half. How many is it gonna make? Eight. I want that one. Yeah, this one. Whoa. Oh, you're pretty good. That one. Pasta, grilled chicken, veggies, and dip. Fresh, simple meals can be both easy and good for your family. A healthy dinner doesn't have to cost a lot. Whether it's the farmer's market or the grocery store, making your children part of the process may be just the ticket to an enjoyable dinner. Remember, we're all in this together. We want to know what's going on in your mom life. So come visit our community at jenandbarb.com. This episode is brought to you by Kraft Salad Dressing. Mmm, look at this baby corn. This is so 
so good and like. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's actually hungry, poor girl. <laughs> <laughs>